What's up everyone, it's Synchron here and today I'll be bringing you all my Cybers deck profile. The majority of this deck utilizes the extra deck about 90% of the duel. The other 10% is usually with Cybers Magician that's in the main deck. But other than that, all your linked boss monsters are in the extra deck. And you also run Fusion and Synchro as well. But not. But they're a little bit harder to get to since you do need the Fusion card and the, the um, Cyber Synchron which are all in the main deck. Granted, they are searchable, but if anything, the code talkers in the extra deck are just a lot more reliable, a lot easier to go into, etc. With all that said, let's get into the video. Alright, so starting off the monsters, definitely want to run three Clock Wyvern. Mainly, um, it's the target for the fusion monster, both of this card does. If it's normal summon or special summon, you have its attack and special summon a clock token. Obviously, the cybers type. Win attribute level one easy for link plays or the fusion plays if no when you do get side net fusion. Next up the searcher of the deck, Lady Debug. You know when someone's supposed to summon you add a level three or lower cyber monster from your deck to your no deck to your hand, and obviously all want to return. And next up two boots staggered. Uh, when a cyber monster is normal summoned uh, to your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. All want to return. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon a stack token, earth attribute, cybers type, level one. Next up, widget kid. Normal summon special summon, special summon one cybers monster from your hand whew, to your side of the field. No, from your hand to your side of the field in defense position. All once per turn. Yes. And next up, two cybers gadget. When this card is normal summoned, you can target a level 2 or lower monster in your grave, special summon it in defense position, but it has its effects negated. And if this card leaves the field, you can special summon a gadget token. No, yeah, you can special summon one gadget token, cyber's type, light attribute, level 2, uh, to your side of the field, obviously once per turn. Uh, next up, 2 Sea Anchor. If a monster is normal summoned or special summoned to a link, no, to a zone a link monster points to during except during damage calculation. You can special summon this card from your grave or from your hand, depending on where it is. But banish it when it leaves but banish it when it leaves the field and the effects once per turn. Next up, backup secretary, two or three, whatever your preference is for the deck. If you control a cyber's monster, you can special summon this card from your hand and all once per turn. Next up, my favorite card of the deck, especially because of its design, um, Cyber's White Hat. Basically, if you control two or more uh, monsters of the same type, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon, obviously, on once return this way. If this card is sent from, uh, if this card is sent to the grave, it's a different material. All monsters your opponent controls currently, uh, your, all monsters your opponent currently controls lose a thousand attack uh, during the. Um, during the um, eh, sorry, until the end of the turn. Next up, two flame buffalo. Pretty easy to get out. Pretty easy to force it to leave the field with sign at back door. But you know, if this card leaves the field, discard a cybers, draw two cards, all once per turn. Next up, the one dot scaper. If this card is sent to the grave, you can special summon. No. Yeah, if this card is sent to the grave, special summon this card. If this card is banished, special summon this card. You can only use one effect once per turn, only that turn, and once per duel, uh, per effect, basically. Next up, a card from Savage Strike, if I'm correct. Yes, from Savage Strike. Signet Converter. Uh, if all monsters you control are Cyber's monsters, minimum one, you can special summon this card from your hand. And you can only special summon, obviously, this card once per turn. When this card is number summoned though, you can target a face-up monster you control, it becomes a Cyrus monster until the end phase. Not really useful, but you know, since it has a special summon effect, you gotta run it in the deck. Next up, um, basically the synchro, synchro, um, yeah, synchro card of the deck. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, Cyber Synchron. Basically, once per turn, you can target a level four or lower monster you control, increases level by its original level. So say backup secretary, level three, boosts its level up by its original level. So now it's a level six. Uh, you know, until the end of this turn, if your opponent's mon no, if your monsters in the extra monster zone will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could banish this card from your grave instead. All once per turn. 
Next up, DK Buster. Can't be normal summoned, must be special summoned by banishing two cyber monsters from your grave and once per, and you, eh, sorry, once per turn, target one monster your opponent controls with higher attack than this card, banish it until the end phase. So, not bad. But not good to where you'd want to run more than one, so yeah. Next up, the ritual of the deck. Cyberus Magician, and man, this effect is long. <laughs> Ritual summon this card with Sun at Ritual. Any battle damage you take is halved. Um, and your opponent cannot target this card with for attack. No, your opponent cannot target other cyber monsters you control for attacks, except this card. Cannot, and your opponent cannot target other cyber monsters with card effects, except this card. Uh, let's see. If it battles an opponent's link monster, it gains a thousand attack. And if it's destroyed by opponent's card effect or by battle, you can add a cyber monster from your deck to your hand. If I if I missed anything, please correct me in the comments. Please look up the card if you're uncertain for my explanations. But yeah, finishing up the monsters definitely to effect Veiler. You can't go wrong with effect Veiler, especially when you can't afford cards like what impermanence. I think that's what they called it, the trap card, the permanence. Yeah, so honestly, this is just a better budget version. But yeah, the main deck is like what, 25 monsters? Mm, it's pretty a lot, but honestly, not that bad. All right, so for the spells, definitely want to run three to sign at fusion, target a cyber monster you control, banish it, and if you do, add one cyber monster from your deck to your hand whose level is less than the banished monster, and then during your next standby phase, bring that banished monster back to your side of the field and it can attack your opponent directly. Obviously, once per turn, like a majority of the deck, really. Next up, two cards for um, dual power. Two, Deco Destruction. Why I like this card is basically if a Deco Talker monster, um, no, it's like you activate this card while you control a Deco Talker monster, and it gains the following effects depending on how many monsters it's pointing to. Three is a bit rare, but if anything, one or two are a bit attainable. But first off, if it points to one or more monster, that must uh, Deco Talker basically gains 500 for each monster it's pointing to. And since Deco Talker already has the uh, 500 attack boost, it basically gains like an additional 500 per monster. Next up, if it points to two or more monsters, uh, monsters destroyed by battle with that Deco Talker are banished after damage calculation. Pretty nice, especially with the attack boost effect. You could probably get rid of one of your opponent's problematic monsters. And three, if you're lucky, after damage calculation, if that monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Obviously, activate one de um, deco destruction once per turn. And I feel like two is a good enough ratio for the deck, since in this version we do run two deco talkers. Next up, sign it fusion for the um, uh, Cybers Wizard. Pretty standard when it comes to ritual summoning, either equal or in or equal or exceed the level and uh, the the ritual monsters level when tributing monsters from your hand or field. But if you control no monsters, you can uh, sorry. Uh, if you control no monsters, you could banish this card from your grave and a ritual monster from your grave. If you do. Such as someone to sign a tokens, both cybers, light attribute. Uh, unfortunately, they're level four, so they can't really work with the link Karibo. But two free tokens, that's that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent for like an extra link play if you want. No, not extra link, but like a desperate link play if anything. Next up, uh, sign at fusion. Uh, you fusion summon a sign it, uh, a cyber fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. But if you control no monsters in the extra monster zone, you could banish up to one cyber link monster from your grave as fusion material as well. Uh, pretty sir, yeah, sorry. Uh, searchable with the. Uh, searchable one, one of the cards in the extra deck, we'll get to that later, but the final card for spells is second uh, Security Block. Basically what this card does, target a cyber on the field this turn, neither player takes battle damage, and that monster can be destroyed by battle or card effect. Easy way to protect your life points, easy way to protect your cyber monsters, and yeah, that's about it for the spells. Finishing, finishing off the main deck with the traps, two Lost Wind when it comes to 
your opponent's problematic monster, set this card, their turn, target a monster on the field, have its attack and have its effects negated. It's in the grave, reset this card. I know, if this is in the grave and your opponent controls a monster that was supposed to summon for the extra deck, reset this card to your side of the field and my banishing when it leaves the field. Except two evacuation devices just to deal with that problematic monster your opponent may get on the field, just return it back to their deck or extra deck. And finishing it off, recode alive. Target a, target a link three, Cyrus, uh, uh, Cyrus Link monster you control or in your grave. Banish if you do, special summon a code talker from your extra deck. And second effect, if you control no monsters in the extra monster zone, you can banish this card from your grave and target uh, one of your banished code talkers monsters. Special summon it to your side of the field. Pretty, pretty, eh, you know, it's like it's not bad. Easy way to get another code talker from your extra deck to your side of the field, or if anything, just get a desperate play if it's in the grave. All right, so finishing off the video with the extra deck one Link Karibo, one Underclock Taker, one Cyber's Witch, the Virtual Spell Searcher, one Widget Kid, the Synchron Searcher, one. Clock Wizard, the Fusion uh, Fusion Monster Returner slash Refusion Summon. Uh, it, it's really weird. To, it's hard to explain. One Update Jammer. Keep it away from Deco Talker because it basically resets the attack of all monsters on the field. Like I said, Deco Talker. Keep, keep, keep Update Jammer away from it. One Exco Talker. Honestly, one of my favorites, when, especially when it comes to the attack boost. One power code talker a little bit harder to get out with the deck and but it does say it but it does it is generic with it's not, it is a generic link three but the only issue is that you need three monsters to get it out which does kind of suck. Uh, Exco talker one transco talker in my opinion the link three or lower monster reborn of the deck one. Cyber's Clock Dragon, my favorite card, especially when it comes to milling your deck to, and then it gains a thousand attack, and you just go for game right there. One Chimera, basically, let's see. Um, if this card, if this fusion summon card is sent to the grave, target a Cyber's Fusion and Cyber's Monster, except it's up, add them both back to your hand, so in a sense, a fusion recycler, but not as good as, as Clock Wizard, Lizard. And finishing it off, these Cybers Quantum Dragon. Now, what I like about this card is basically if it battles an opponent's monster, you return that opponent's monster and you basically gain an additional attack with this card. It's not bad. And if I'm correct, like um, like the other cards, like say um, Cybers Wizard, what this card does is your opponent cannot target monsters you control by battle or card effect except itself. So really, if your opponent battles it, you're kind of forcing them to return that monster uh, to their hand or their deck. But with all that said, that actually is going to wrap up the extra deck and it's going to wrap up the whole video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you want. Leave a comment if you want. Please share the video for whoever else is interested. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.